What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about a very interesting topic and that's the graded region in Revit or the graded region tool and this is basically a tool that allows you to modify the topo surface or the topography or your terrain uh, through the time uh, through time so basically you're going to be adding some phasing to the topography and this is kind of going to be a part two of uh, phasing in Revit tutorials that I'm doing so make sure to check out the first part of this where I explain basically how phasing in Revit works it's going to make this tutorial a lot easier to understand and it's also a great topic to know so check that link in the description of this video and before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media, I will be posting there every day now, links are in the description. Okay, so this is the project that I'm going to be using and this is the project I did for a kind of a site plan with roads in Revit and I did it this a while back so if you want to check out how to place a road on a kind of a difficult topo surface check that tutorial out as well link is in the description but anyway let's say we have this topo surface and let's say we want to kind of change it whenever you have your uh, site use you're not always going to be leaving it as is sometimes you're going to be adding some uh, some material or some some earth just to to add somewhere and somewhere you're going to be kind of bulldozing and taking it away so you're going to be modifying the terrain whenever you're uh, working on a project and by adding phases you're going to allow uh, allow Revit to kind of remember what was the terrain uh, in in the first place and then what are the modifications you done and then it's just going to make the whole process a, a bit easier to understand the whole the whole project basically so the first thing we need to do for this is a not a degraded region tool first we need to do a little bit of a setup so let's go here to the manage tab and here we have the this phases in Revit uh, dialog so this is uh, what I mostly talk about in phasing in Revit tutorial that I, I that I mentioned but anyway we have an existing phase that's uh, the the phase in which terrain was uh, found and then we have new construction and we're just going to add one more phase new construction to and that uh, to insert that phase it's going to be after this so let's just call this new can struck and let's make this a capital letter and uh, we need two of them just for a, an extra thing that I want to explain in the end but anyway existing is what you found and new construction is your modification and then this is your second I guess modification hit apply hit OK and now we're done with the setup and now we can play around so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, uh, the terrain and I'm just going to go over here in the properties panel and for phasing uh, for the phase created I'm just going to set it up to existing so terrain is usually something you find it's 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 existing and now as you can see it's kind of a uh, half tone if I zoom in over here you can see this is kind of a grayish color compared to this that's because now this is a uh, this is in done in previous phase and if we check out the 3d views phase this uh, 3d view is a new construction one phase so now let's uh, let's say you want to modify this so first we're in existing so now you make you need to make sure that you're either in new construction or new construction 2 but for this let's just keep it at new construction so make sure that the view is set to that phase and then all of the modifications you do in that view will be added to that current active view phase okay so now it's time to go to massing insight and go to the graded region tool so you just select that tool and you get this little dialog and what this asks you is uh, select a topo surface to grade and uh, how would you like to edit the topo surface so basically it allows you to either go with create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one uh, that basically means if you're just going to be doing some slight modification to your to your topo surface uh, then uh, then you don't uh, then you can basically use the same one and just do those slight modifications and I, if you're just going to bulldoze the whole thing and start over then you might want to go with create a new topo surface based on parameter points only 
So in this case, uh, or in most cases, you're probably just going to be uh, doing some slight modification. Groundwork is quite expensive. You have to take that earth or bring it in and that costs money. So let's just do that. So create new surface exactly like this one. So basically now it created a new topo surface uh, in phase a new construction and it's on top of the one from the previous phase. And if I now zoom in and go to some of these points and start uh, moving them around, I can actually modify the whole phase, the whole phase, or the the whole topo surface. So let's do some slight modifications. And as you can see here, now we're getting some uh, some lines over here. As you can see, this line over here, and this line over here. So if I move everything kind of like that, let's do something else. Okay, let's move this here. And now, if you can see from all of these modifications, if I go like this and, or maybe let's move this inward a bit. Yeah, so let's move all of these a bit inward, just so you can see what's going on. Yeah, let's do something like this. Yeah, this looks even better. Okay, so as you can see now here, I'm just moving these lines around and if I hit finish, you're going to see we have now two types of lines. We've got some primary and some secondary lines. Uh, the point is we have basically two topo surfaces. We have the, this is the existing one, as you can see here in the properties panel, it says existing. And if you select this one, it says new construction. So it basically created a new topo surface in this current view just to kind of uh, just kind of illustrate in in which uh, phase uh, you are so basically every new phase where you create a new graded region or you grade the region or you edit your topo surface it will be creating a new topo surface so now if we go to this view and switch to existing as you can see uh, the whole topo surface as well as all of the elements have disappeared because the only existing topo surface is this one here and if we now uh, go back to uh, go back to phase new construction. Now we can see only this and if we go into new construction 2 we can see only the, the the second one. So only the one created in new construction 1 we can see that one but the existing one we can't see because it's kinda two phases away and whenever, when, whenever something is two phases away you can't really see it anymore. And uh, if, if you want to understand that better maybe check out that uh, first tutorial on phasing in Revit. But anyway, let's talk building pads. So let's go back. So let's go here to new phase, new construction one. And yeah, let's delete this new phase and let's just keep the, the old phase. Or yeah, let's just do that. Okay, now let's add some building pads. So I'm just going to go here to top. And here, uh, let's start and let's place the first one in the existing uh, phase. So let's go building pad, rectangle, simple rectangle like this. And for the height, okay, for the height, let's set it to minus, I think six meters will work. Okay, let's spin around. Okay, so we have this uh, building pad in phase one. Okay, so now let's go back to top and uh, let's uh, switch this uh, view from existing to new construction one and uh, let's create a new building pad. So let's do a rectangle over here. So this rectangle will now be new construction and let's now go to the phase three or uh, new construction two and go building pad and place a building pad over here. Hit finish and let's do minus six for this one as well. Okay, we can't see it. Okay, there it is. So now the problem is we can't see the face because it has been uh, graded. But if we go back into grade into new construction one, for example, as you can see here, we now just have the hole, but we don't have the 
uh, the the building pad that was uh, built in the next phase which doesn't really make sense you wouldn't really uh, cut the you wouldn't really dig up a ground and not place a building pad there uh, but that's kind of a, a a problem that Revit makes when uh, when you place basically building pads in the phasing or you use phasing with building pads so that's all the only problem you're going to be getting but everything else uh, works uh, works just fine as far as uh, using the grading tool for for the terrain okay so that concludes the tutorial on uh, using phasing for topo surfaces and using the graded region tool that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe a like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please uh, leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day